So the Google Pixel 9 has just came out and I wanted to go ahead and compare it against the iPhone 12 and see which particular phone is the better one for you. Now I could probably tell you for the vast majority of people out there, the Google Pixel 9 is probably the better phone, but it is interesting because the characteristics or some of the characteristics of the iPhone 12 have kind of tailored down to the Pixel 9, which is kind of surprising. And I'll talk about that throughout this whole entire video. But if you want to pick up either one of these phones, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the exact same time. So starting off with the outside of both these phones, I will tell you with the iPhone 12, this phone came out back in 2020. And this thing was a pretty good looking device when it first came out. You were getting a 6.1 inch Super Retina XR OLED display. And it was a good looking panel, you know, 1200 nits of brightness, 1170p and overall if i'm going to look at a device this thing was a pretty solid option you know it was a pretty big redesign coming from the iphone 11 a little bit so the fact that this phone is what like four years old now it genuinely has held up so well with these types of phones the thing i love about these types of devices like the iphone 12s is that they just basically because of the flat design the flat sides and everything like that they look so good and that's something i love about these types of phones so from that standpoint, it definitely gets a thumbs up for me without a doubt. With the Google Pixel 9, on the other hand, this phone on the front is giving you a 6.3 inch OLED display. So it's 120 hertz, 1080p, and I definitely would say this is a very, very good looking display and a very good looking phone. The display on this thing is a flat display as well. It's a whole punch display, so no notch or anything like that, but I love this phone so much because of the way it looks. Now you're also basically getting a 120 hertz panel on this thing and it's a basically 2700 of brightness display. So that is also another very big thing going on for this type of phone when it comes down to it as well. So in my personal opinion, this phone definitely gets a thumbs up for me just based on those things. So the Pixel 9 definitely on the front looks better than the iPhone 12. Now the iPhone 12 is giving you a lightning port at the bottom. The Pixel 9 is giving you a USB type C port. So this in and of itself, once again, is another very big thing to kind of keep in mind here within this type of device. Now on the back, you're getting standard glass backs on both these phones. So it is kind of nice that you are getting that type of capability between here. So as always, if you're going to go through and pick up a phone, I do like being able to go and pick up a phone and you know get this type of capability. So I do think this in and of itself is a very, very nice thing going on for this type of phone. So you're getting a dual camera setup on the back of both of them, wireless charging on both, IP certification on both as well. So there is a lot of overlap here, but there are also some slight differences here too. And one of these slight differences basically is when it comes down to the reverse wireless charging. So the Pixel 9 is giving you that reverse wireless charging type of capability, with the iPhone 12 is not really giving you that type of capability. So not that it's the biggest deal in the world, but that is one thing to kind of keep in mind there when it kind of comes down to it. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there as well. So just from those things alone, pretty good phone, right? The battery sizes are slightly different as well. I mean, you're getting a 2,815 milliampere hour battery inside of the iPhone 12, where it was a 4,700 milliampere hour battery inside of the Google Pixel 9. So that's a really big difference right there too. I did battery, I did a battery comparison and I think the Pixel 9 outperformed the you know iPhone 15. So you can just imagine what it would do with the iPhone 12. And from a price tag standpoint, the iPhone 12 was available for like around $250 in the used market, but the Pixel 9 is still at around 800 because it just came out. So that right there also is another fairly big thing to keep in mind there too. So in my personal opinion, when you're looking at the exterior, the price tag, literally everything all across the board, it's pretty insane how good of a job I think, you know, Apple did with that phone back in the day. And even now how good of a job Google did with the Pixel 9 and how many improvements there were between these types of phones. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there as well. Now on top of that, another very big thing to keep in mind here too are the cameras. So between both, you are actually getting very good solid cameras between both, which is something that's really cool. And if I'm going to go and pick up a phone, I mean, the iPhone 12's camera, you know, you were getting 12 megapixel wide and 12 megapixel ultra wide camera on that particular phone. Also with the 12 megapixel wide angle camera on the front. The Pixel 9, you're getting a 50 megapixel wide, 48 megapixel ultra wide, then 10 and a half megapixel ultra wide camera on the front of that thing. So 4K 60 on the front and the back. And if I'm going to go and pick up a phone, I definitely will tell you the Pixel 9's camera might end up being the better camera overall. I feel like if you're going to go through and pick up a device, that is the one that makes the most amount of sense, right? The Pixel 9 is the one that I'll probably say is the better one here. I think the iPhone 12's camera is good. I think it's okay. It was good when it first came out, but I think in this day and age, it might be slightly different because with this type of device, you're just kind of running into the situation where, right, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to go and buy. I mean, it's still a good camera nonetheless, 
but the Pixel 9's camera I think is a significantly better one in basically every single way you could probably imagine. So I do think from that side that's kind of the big thing to kind of keep in mind here. But still with the iPhone 12's camera, it's still very good. I still like that camera a lot. But the Pixel 9's camera is the one that I think is probably the better one here. And even with the Pixel 9 Pro, that one is significantly better as well. But I definitely would say between these two, I would probably edge to the iPhone 12 being, you know, good, but the Pixel 9 being significantly better here when it comes down to it. Now, on top of that, some other big things to keep in mind here too, is the fact that between both, they're both still supported with software. But when I look at the future of both these, the Pixel 9 is probably going to be giving you a much longer lasting supported phone than the iPhone 12. I would probably say at best, the iPhone 12 may have like two to three years of software support, most probably two years. You know, I think that's probably what's going to end up happening here. So I think that is just one thing to kind of keep in mind here that if you're going to go through and pick up a phone, the iPhone 12 is probably going to be the one that's not going to last as long. Whereas on the Pixel 9, that one is probably going to be the one that's going to last the longest amount of time. So I definitely do like that here. I do like both these phones because of that. But again, it's like, you know, what are you going to do? I'm not really too sure which way you want to kind of like go with this. But I would probably tell you when it comes down to these two things, I love the Pixel 9. And I love the iPhone 12, but the iPhone 12 is probably going to be the one that's not going to last as long in terms of, you know, which one's going to be the bigger one. I do like the Google Pixel 9 because of its performance. I think it's a very, very good performing phone when it kind of comes down to it. And here's the thing on here, right? So the Google, you know, Pixel 9 is giving you that Tensor G4 chipset inside with 12 gigabytes of RAM, where the iPhone 12 is giving you that Apple A14 body chip inside of it with four gigabytes of RAM. So you can just see from the RAM performance perspective from everything along that side that the iPhone 12 is going to be giving you the overall better, you know, it's going to be giving you a good experience with that Apple A12 chip or Apple A14 chip. But that Tensor G4 chip with 12 gigabytes of RAM, the Pixel 9 clearly is the way better one here almost every single time. If you're going to go through and pick up a phone, it makes so much more sense to go and buy something like a Google Pixel 9 than the iPhone 12 in every single way you can imagine it. There's not really a situation where I look at something like the Google Pixel 9 and I think of it as slower than the iPhone 12. And honestly, there's not really a situation where I look at the Pixel 9 and I think it's a worse phone than the iPhone 12 either, like genuinely. So I think if you're going to go like go down that perspective, I love the Google Pixel 9 and I love the iPhone 12, but the Pixel 9 from speed tests, from everything you're ever going to do, you are by far going to be getting a way better experience inside of something like the Google Pixel 9 than the iPhone 12. So I will tell you that's kind of a given, that's kind of what makes sense here, and it genuinely makes so much sense when I speak it out loud. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up here for the most part. Now, some other big things to keep in mind here too, is when I'm looking at both these phones, right, I will tell you in almost every single way, the Google Pixel 9 and the iPhone 12 are very, very good devices. I like both of them a lot, but I think that Google Pixel 9 clearly is the way better one here. This is the one I'd recommend to every single person to buy, and that is the one that I'd say, hey, if you're going to go pick up a phone, please buy that one. But I would probably say too with the iPhone 12, this is one of those phones that I look at and I'm a very big fan of. I think these types of phones are still very good and they're like budget phones now at this day and age. So I think it makes a lot of sense to go and buy this type of phone too. But in terms of that, I would definitely say go buy the Google Pixel 9. That one makes a lot more sense than the iPhone 12. So that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.